Welcome to our Eagle Flight celebration. Eagle Flight is a tradition at Broomfield High School that we've done for the past 20 years. This is an opportunity for the Broomfield High School community, faculty, staff, and students to have one last goodbye to our seniors. In addition, we also want to honor our new exec, student council exec members as we look forward to their leadership next year. We also have some special graduates. We have some faculty and staff that are also choosing to graduate with the class of 21. So I invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy our Eagle Fly celebration. Hello class of 2021. I want to thank you for allowing me to be one of your Eagle Flight speakers. I am so honored. I want to preemptively apologize if I get choked up during our time together today. You have each made such a difference in our lives, it is going to be hard to let you go. Class of 2021, you have brought a light so great to Brimfield High School that even after you graduate, your radiance will remain. You have truly left your mark on all of us. What a challenging year this has been. During these tough times, we have realized how important it is to be part of something bigger than ourselves. Together, we have survived remote learning, hybrid learning, in-person learning, masks, and quarantines. Although it has been very difficult for all of us, we endured and persevered together. I'm so impressed with how you've overcome obstacles, crushed through barriers, and achieved things you never thought possible. One of the silver linings of this crazy year is that we have made some unforgettable memories. This year will bind us together with shared experiences that you will share with your family for years to come. You will never forget who was in your breakout room in Senior Lit, where you were during virtual homecoming, who you laughed with at your jam celebration, or the excitement of seeing all of your classmates on our multiple first days of school. Before you head out on your next grand adventure, I would love to leave you with a few thoughts that have helped me along the way. First is to find what you love. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. You'll know when you find it. Don't let the noise of other people's opinions drown out your inner voice. Have the courage to follow your heart and your intuition because it won't always be easy. Go all in and don't settle. And then don't stop until you're proud. Next, our awesome class of 2021, you can't do this alone. As you move into this next part of our journey, be open to collaboration. Find a group of people who challenge and inspire you. Spend a lot of time with those people and be grateful for them every day. You never know what is around the corner, but if you hold someone's hand while you take that risk, it will feel less scary. It is so much more fun to succeed and fail with other people. Cheer one another on lift others up, be a light in a too often dim world. Continue to share your heart with people, even if it makes you vulnerable. I cannot stress enough, put your phone down once in a while and look at each other, talk to each other face to face, make eye contact. You can learn so much about someone just by looking in their eyes. You are all here today because someone supported you, gave you strength, provided an amazing opportunity or a second chance. They have helped you get here and that should give you the amazing feeling of having a village who surrounds you and lifts you up. We, as your teachers, are so honored to be a small part of that village. Lastly, choose joy. Be a difference maker and embrace the good stuff. Make time to form connections and build great relationships. Adversity comes, disappointments happen, choose joy anyway. It is your state of mind and thinking that produce how you feel and respond. Now, graduates of class of 2021, here is what we need from you. Channel the magic of what you have learned here at Brimfield High School toward the challenges of our world. You were born with all the uniqueness, abilities, knowledge, and talents 
you need for your journey. Don't compare yourself to anyone else. Just be yourself and start shining. You have all, you have within you all you need to do this. You are stronger than you know, braver than you think, and more love than you can ever imagine. You have proven that you can do hard things. You are smart and brave. You are kind and resilient. I thank you for letting me speak to you today on behalf of our faculty and staff. As you head on to your next adventure, we wish you love and light, joy and much laughter. We love you graduates and can't wait to see how high you soar. We are completely, totally and incredibly proud of you. Congratulations to the amazing young people in the Broomfield High School class of 2021. You did it. Hello fellow Eagles, my name is Andy McMahon. And I'm Ryan Zekman. And we're your senior class speakers for the 2020-2021 school year. We're not sure how we got voted in, but here we are anyways. Maybe some of you thought of me as some wise man that had these great words and wisdom about life. Or maybe you just love our presence. Anyways, let's show you what you voted for. Freshman, this year has been hard for you guys. Between transitioning to a new school to having to adapt to high school being online, you face challenges that no other freshman class has had to experience. That's why we encourage you, freshmen, to use this sophomore year as a do-over year. Next year, you'll be able to do all the things you thought you could do this year, like your first real homecoming and first football games. Treat this next year like a fresh start and make the best of it. Sophomores, you're approaching probably your most difficult year in high school, your junior year. With that comes some stress, but also some exciting events like becoming an upperclassman in lab two, spirit boys, and maybe even prom. This next year comes a great opportunity to do some great things that you missed out on this year. As freshmen, you were not part of most of our high school traditions and your sophomore year was no better. We need you as upperclassmen to set the tone next year. We need you and next year's seniors to show the class of 2024 and 2025 what it means to be a Bloomfield Eagle. Hey juniors, one good thing that came out this year was that the seniors didn't crush you in lab two, but that just means that you'll have to crush the juniors next year. And although you didn't get the parking lot to yourselves due to those pesky sophomores, next year the senior lot is all yours. And while you didn't get out of the SAT like we did, you got one more opportunity to practice your test taking skills. Lucky you. But here's the good news, maybe even the great news. Next year is going to be so much better without those obstacles. You have the opportunity to be as good as our senior class or maybe even better. Seniors, these past years have been pretty rough for us, but there's also been a little good to come out of it. For example, we got adopted by parents, got some sweet gifts, and we had to take the SAT we've been preparing for for so many years. And we also got a parking lot to ourselves, a crumble cookie, and our very own exclusive prom. But in all honesty, we missed out on a lot, like being the juniors in lab tube and spirit boys this year, as well as a prom and homecoming. It's definitely not the ideal situation or the high school experience we ever could have envisioned, but we should take this past year of missing out to better us in the future. Live your life to the fullest because we all know how quickly things can change. And just think about what's ahead of us. From college to maybe a gap year, we'll all be going in different directions. But it'll be much better than these past years. So make the most of what's ahead of you, Eagles, because I know we can do great things. We all know that you, Eagles, are going to do great things next year or wherever your future lies. And we can't wait to see what you achieve. Thanks for a great year, Eagles. Hi, Eagles. It's a great day to be an Eagle. As part of Eagle Flight, I have the honor to be able to graduate some people that took a little bit longer to get out of high school. For the class of 2021, you took four years. The people I'm going to honor right now took many more years, but we are so proud of them to be able to graduate and retire from Broomfield High School. Our first retiree is Mary Morgan. Mary Morgan has been uh, a paraeducator in our ILC program and autism program for the past five years. But she has been in Boulder Valley for over 28 years serving students in a variety of ways. We are excited for her retirement and if you happen to see her in the hallway, just say congratulations on getting to spend time differently with your horses and with, uh, with your grandchildren. Mary, we're so happy that you were with us for the last five years and have a wonderful retirement. Our second retirement is also a paraeducator in our ILC program, Mrs. Peggy Silvers. If any of you have, have interacted with Peggy in, in classes, you know that she always has a smile on her face. 
and always has a kind word for everyone. Peggy, your enthusiasm, your excitement, and your willingness to help others will be truly missed. Peggy has been at Broomfield High School for the past 20 years. Our third retiree is Mrs. Janice Dempsey. Janice is one of our counselors who has spent the last several weeks uh, fighting uh, the lights in Eagle Gym for the AP test, making sure that AP tests were ready for all of you. And she has been a, a leader in our counseling department. Janice, we kind of grabbed her from Monarch. She was a counselor at Monarch before coming to Broomfield High and has been at Broomfield High for the last 12 years. Janice, congratulations on your retirement and I hope to hear fun stories of your camping trips and the time spent with your family. Best of luck. Our final retiree is Mr. C. Mr. John Costello has been in Boulder Valley since 1994. Now seniors, I know that's way before you were even born, but he has been in a variety of positions that you may not know about. Were you aware that he used to be the industrial arts teacher here before Mr. Leonard? And that he also taught computer science here? But his claim to fame is his dedication to our photography program. John, we are going to miss you so much and all of you, Mary, Peggy, and Janice, and John, congratulations, and please remember, once an eagle, always an eagle. My name is Andy McMahon, and I'll be passing down the Stuco tie to Brady Kellogg here. Uh, there's some great names on this tie, Trey Ortega, Kate Austin, and I think Brady, you're gonna fit right in with the crowd here on the tie. Brady's an awesome leader, and I think he's just going to do great things at the school next year. I have no worries of, you know, leaving student council and having Brady take over. So here it is. Thanks, Andy. I'd be lucky to be half the leader you are. Thank you. Thanks, Brady. <laughs> Ali, you've done so much already with your first year in student council. And I think I can speak for everyone that you've done an amazing job. I'm so excited to see where you go in the future and just to see how well you do next year. Thank you. Of course. Hi, I'm Kaylee and I am the co-president of Student Council. I've had a really good last year and I get to hand the gavel to Amelia for next year. You're gonna do great and I just know you're gonna kill it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello, I'm Trey Holloway. I'm gonna be passing down the first dollar of Student Council to Gretchen Metz. Gretchen's always been great in Student Council and when I first met her, she always is just a great personality to have and she's always contributing. Thanks, Trey. Seniors, congratulations, you did it, and we are very proud of you. Congratulations to our exec members, and we're looking forward to their leadership next year as well. Thank you to our staff for their amazing speeches, and to our students who offered some words of wisdom for next year's classes as well. To the class of 2022, class of 2023, and the class of 2024, looking forward to some great uh, years with you, and welcome in the class of 2025. Thank you very much.